Aquarius, welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at The Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing your reading from November 29th to December 5th. Now this is going to be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Sagittarius, in this reading, I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so your challenge here is the Eight of Swords, and what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Three of Wands in reverse. Okay, so your challenge here has a lot to do with uh, something here that's making you feel mentally stuck, okay? Um, you could be reminiscing about something here that you feel um, has really affected you mentally on a very, very big level. Um, I think Leo also got the Eight of Swords as well too in their challenge position. So some of you could have Leo in your chart or you could be somebody who's dealing with a Leo. We're gonna clarify this card and see what the important message is here about your challenge in a moment. Now in the recent past Sagittarius, you have the Six of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. It looks like in the recent past, someone here wanted truth and clarity, okay? They really wanted to bring something here back into balance with you. I feel like this was an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, maybe an, an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Someone here was really determined to work things out with you, but they wanted some sort of truth and clarity in terms of where you stood here in the past. So we're going to clarify and get more information in a moment. Now, in the present moment, you have the three of pentacles, the knight of, excuse me, the page of swords and the queen of cups. It looks like in the present moment, somebody here is planning something. There's paperwork involved. There's some sort of planning here. And this could have a lot to do with wanting to cooperate with certain people. There's certain people, Sagittarius, I feel like have been placed in your life in the present moment that are going to help you with this plan that you're making. There's something here that's being written, um, planned out. This could have a lot to do with your future. I'm intuitively picking that up. For many of you, there's an offer of love from a water sign that may be coming in, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So we're going to find out more about the important messages for you in the present moment soon. Okay, in the near future, you have the Seven of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, and the Justice. So it looks like in the near future, there's going to be a decision that needs to be made here um, in regards to court. Maybe there's a divorce or maybe you have some sort of court procedure that you need to go to in the near future. I do see you kind of pushing away, like not wanting to be involved in this situation. It's almost like you're like, I don't want to deal with this, but there's something here that needs to be dealt with and a decision will have to be made. So we're going to find out more about this development in the near future for you in a moment. Now, what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the Three of Wands, the Two of Swords, the Eight of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and the Ten of Cups in reverse. Okay, so what you don't see coming is the fact that a lot of you are going to be disengaging from a marriage. Okay, so if you've been married for a while, some of you are going to be divorcing or disconnecting. For others of you, you may be engaged, but there's something about you disconnecting emotionally. Okay, or maybe you have someone around you that's emotionally disconnecting. Hierophant and the Ten of Cups in reverse. Um, Five of Pentacles in reverse is telling me that what you don't see coming is, is that although this person hasn't been speaking to you or there's been little to no communication between you and this person, the reason why this may be happening is because something here has stagnated. Three of Wands in reverse. Okay, this could be a plan that was supposed to happen between you and this person that stagnated, or maybe there's not enough planning, three of wands. Someone here is tired of waiting, okay? This could be you or your person. Someone here is tired of waiting. And as a result of that, that may be the reason why this person has closed off um, or you know has disengaged from you. The good news here, Sagittarius, is, is that eventually you and this person are going to maybe 
come back together there's going to be a point in time where um someone that you haven't spoke to for a while it could be um, an earth sign or somebody who has very heavy earth energy in their astral chart um you know may be coming back towards you virgo capricorn Taurus. This is somebody who has been closed off to you for a while, and that looks like things are going to change. This person's going to open up to you at some point is what it's telling me. Okay. So this is what you don't see coming. Now let's get into your reading and let's see what's going on for you. Right, so your challenge, which is the Eight of Swords, is clarified by the Three of Swords, the Five of Wands, and the Empress. Your biggest challenge here right now, uh, Sagittarius, is not just to go in your mind and reminisce about something here that didn't work out for you. I feel like for many of you, there was a conflict maybe with another fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, or maybe a, an air sign hurt you, okay? Gemini, uh, Libra, Aquarius. I think the biggest thing that a lot of you may not be seeing when it comes to the situation that's been on your mind for quite some time is that spirit is saying for many of you, it is time for you to focus on your growth empress. Okay. There's some sort of situation in your life, Sagittarius, that caused a lot of pain for you. And it's been very difficult for you to really get out of your head about it. Okay. Um, this has a lot to do with a conflict opposing points of view. I feel like you have opposing points of view with someone here, and this is why something here has caused you some sort of pain and trauma. But your challenge here is not to only focus on what hurt you, the pain, the trauma that has happened to you, but also focus on where you need to put your energy to focus on growth. There's something here about using your pain and using your past experience that really affected you for, for, something that's going to lead to growth okay it's almost like when we're in depression and we use our depressing moments to really create inspiration for others so and i often use that analogy so for many of you your biggest challenge here is not to allow some sort of situation that hurt you and caused pain to be in your mind swirling in your mind but rather finding a way to use that energy to use it for growth use it for motivation use it to inspire other people Okay, so shifting your focus from, you know, victim mentality to, yeah, I can I can handle this situation. I can, you know, turn this situation in, into something positive. I can turn this situation into growth. That's what the empress does. She takes something that's nothing and turns it into something. Okay, it's like an embryo. The, the, the embryo is planted and then it grows over time. Okay, but there's a lot of things that we need to focus on in order for that to happen. Okay, so this is your challenge. This is what I'm seeing. Let's talk about the recent past. Let's clarify the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is clarified by the Ten of Wands, the Magician, and the Queen of Wands. A lot of you wanted to know in the recent past if some sort of situation in your life was going to become easier, okay? I feel like in the past, for many of you, you were dealing with a situation where it just becomes, it just became, excuse me, very difficult for you. Very, very difficult. And you were trying to manifest to bring something back into balance, to work things out. I feel like in the past, also Sagittarius, a very significant um, life cycle came to an end for you. And for many of you, you wanted to be freed from this situation. Okay. So there was a desire here to work things out in the past, bring something here back into balance. Par particularly the reason why Sagittarius is because a lot of you were tired of being in this place of, of, you know, how do I explain this? It's like, you're in a situation where everything goes wrong all the time. And you're like, well, why does, why doesn't anything ever work out for me? It looks like in the recent past, that cycle has come to an end with the 10 of wands here. And the good news for many of you is, is that if you did have a, a period of time where things just weren't working out for you, um, the South node, the South node was, you know, conjunct your sun, your moon or your rising. So there's something here that's been really stagnant for you, but has come to an end in the recent past. And it looks like it's been worked through and it's been brought back into balance. Okay. And if it hasn't, it looks like it's in the process of doing that. Um, considering that the South node is moving away from your key points, your three 
key points, okay, in astrology. Now, in the present moment, someone here is planning, okay? I'm really getting a strong energy of planning. We're going to find out more about what this plan is all about for you in the present moment. But first, I want to clarify the Queen of Cups. Okay, so the Queen of Cups is clarified by the Nine of Swords in reverse, the Moon, and the Two of Wands. I feel like in the present moment, there is someone here who's coming in to offer you love, okay? I don't think you see this coming. I think it's something that a lot of you don't really anticipate or expect. There's something here about you in the present moment being in this place, Sagittarius, where you're like, okay, whatever, you know, if it's going to happen for me, it's going to happen. It's, it's almost like you've been through so much, Sagittarius, that you're in this melancholy energy, like, okay, whatever. If it happens, it happens. I just don't care anymore. But what Spirit is, is telling you in the present moment is a lot of you don't see that there's a love offer coming in. You don't see this love offer coming in. Water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, maybe a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. This is someone who wants to make plans with you. They want to work things out. And they've been planning. They've been making plans in the back of their mind to possibly come towards you and offer love. Tell me more about the Page of Swords in the present moment. So the Page of Swords is clarified by the Page of Swords, the Judgment, and the Five of Pentacles. I feel like in the present moment, somebody here is really starting to realize that they need to disconnect from certain things that are not growing anymore, okay? I don't feel like this is you. I feel like this is someone you're dealing with. It could be you. Um, but overall, I'm getting that this per whoever this person is, this person is someone who watches all the time. They're always planning. They're always doing something here, and they're always trying to find information. For many of you, this person's coming to a realization, this could be you, that there's something in their life that just isn't growing anymore. It's just not working anymore, okay? I do see someone here in the present moment disconnecting because they're going through some sort of realization, okay? There's a realization that this person is going through. Tell me more about the Three of Pentacles in the present moment. Okay, so the Three of Pentacles is clarified by the Fool in Reverse, the Star, and the Four of Wands. Someone here in the present moment doesn't know if they even want to have a new beginning. They don't even know if they want to have a relationship in the future, okay? This is somebody who is definitely open to working things out with you. They're definitely someone who wants to build something here with you, but there's a reason why a new beginning isn't happening. There's something here that's stagnant. It's delayed. It's stagnant. It's not moving forward. Um, for many of you, I see maybe plans being made or a need to maybe heal something within the connection in order to have this new beginning, okay? So in the present moment, something here is not moving forward the way it needs to because either there's a lack of cooperation or there's a need for more cooperation and more future planning in order for this to happen, okay? So this is what I'm seeing in the present moment. Now let's talk about the near future. In the near future, it looks like a decision will have to be made, okay? And this decision is very much connected to the justice system, courts, um, maybe divorce on the horizon for some of you, a separation here. There's something here that you're not wanting to see for what it is, Sagittarius. And as much as you don't want to confront this situation, it's going to be a part of something that you need to do. So let's find out more about this. Let's clarify the justice. What is this justice all about for Sagittarius? So the justice is clarified by the seven of pentacles, the hanged man and the queen of pentacles. It looks like in the near future, uh, somebody here is not taking action. There's a lack of taking action. There's a lack of investing. There's a lack of bringing about stability to this situation. I do see someone here approaching you, okay, in the near future, and they may be helping you in some sort of way financially because there's something here about someone um, not taking action, okay? And I feel like this could possibly be you. It could be someone you're dealing with. Now, because there's a lack of not taking action towards the situation, um, a, a decision may need to be made here, okay? Tell me more about the Two of Pentacles. The 
Two of Pentacles is clarified by the Eight of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, and the King of Wands. This is a direct message to you. Now, your biggest challenge here is the Eight of Swords, and it's showing up here in the near future. So there's something here that you haven't confronted yet, Sagittarius. And in order for you to take advantage of an opportunity, I feel like there's going to be a new opportunity. It could be a job opportunity. It could be something revolving your finances, maybe even an, an excuse me, an apprentice, apprentice, apprenticeship or a um, something to do with education here. There's something here that you're gonna have an opportunity to release yourself. There's something here you wanna release yourself from. And by you completely confronting the situation and finally making a decision, instead of constantly pushing it away and saying, no, I don't wanna deal with this now, I, you know, I'll deal with it later. Spirit is saying that you need to deal with it in the near future, okay? Very similar to Cancer energy and Leo energy. These are two very significant signs that may be going through very significant changes okay so there's something here that you're not wanting to see or you don't want to confront and there's a need for you to confront it in order to move yourself out of this place of stagnation okay so this is what i'm seeing that's going to happen for many of you in the near future now let's get some advice for you what is the advice Okay, so your advice is the Four of Cups, the King of Pentacles, and the Seven of Pentacles. Ask yourself why somebody here is acting like they're not interested, okay? Ask yourself that question, okay? Some of you are dealing with someone here that you really love, you really care about, but either they act like they're not interested or they're they're um, disconnected from you. And the reason why that may be is because there's something here about a decision that has to be made. Um, a practical decision has to be made. Seven of Pentacles often talks about someone who's looking at a large um, amount of money in their bank account or a large amount of money that they've invested and the question is that you have to ask yourself is are you willing to give yourself to this situation are you willing to invest your time your energy into the situation not not a little bit but a hundred percent are you willing to invest in this situation that may be the reason why someone here is disconnected